Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. And if you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. Find the measure of each angle in triangle ABC. Angle A is marked x minus 10 degrees. Angle B is marked 2x minus 50 degrees. And angle C is marked x degrees. These are the interior angles of the triangle. So what do we know about them? They add up to 180. Angle A plus angle B plus angle C will equal 180 degrees. That's right. So how does that translate into an equation that we can solve? Angle A is x minus 10, good, plus angle B is, good, 2x minus 50, plus angle C is just x, good and they add up to 180. Now I put the parentheses there just because it was in the original diagram, but do we really need those parentheses? No, you only really need them if there was something being multiplied out front or a negative out front of one of them, you would have to distribute it through, but nothing is happening there. So we actually can just drop those parentheses and proceed like normal. Okay, so again, I'm going to give you about 60 seconds to just get started on solving this. I want you to think about it before I start talking about it. And I hope those of you at home are writing this down on paper. Very tempting to not do that. It'll be much more beneficial if you do. Okay, let's take a look together. So we're going to start by combining like terms on the left hand side. I see that I have three different terms with x's in them. What do those add up to 4x, very good. All right, and now I see that I have one, two terms that don't have x's. What do those add up to? Very good, negative 60. They were both negatives, be careful there. Okay, and also that is a skill that some uh, times has a way of getting away from us. So if you're having any trouble with positive and negative numbers, you know, you can also ask me about that. All right, and then what should I do? <laughs> Very good. So we want that X by itself. So I'm gonna begin by adding 60 to both sides of the equation. So we're going to get 4X equals to 40. And what do I do with that four? Division, good. So what is X equal to? Good, X is equal to 60 degrees. And then uh, you have to go back and look at what they're asking you to find. In this case, they were asking us to find each angle. So we actually have one of them now. We know that angle C is 60 degrees. We just need to figure out the other two. What would angle A be then? Good, 60 minus 10 is 50 degrees. And what would angle B equal? Good, uh, 120 minus 50 is gonna give us uh, 70 degrees. Okay, so we're done. Any questions about that one? All right, how are we feeling about this whole uh, having to do a little algebra thing? Are we okay? All right, another thing that can happen a step up in the difficulty level is when instead of giving you the diagram, they describe it in words. So for example, here it says in triangle ABC, angles A and B have the same measure, while the measure of angle C is 15 degrees larger than the measure of each of A and B. What are the measures of the three angles? Okay, so one of the tricks with reading math is don't even try to process the whole thing at once. <laughs> we read math in little itty bitty phrases and we pick out the information. It's slow and tedious, but that's what we have to do. So I'm going to go I'm gonna literally start with just reading the phrase tri in triangle ABC. Okay, I got a triangle. So uh, as soon as you see you have a geometric shape, draw it. And it doesn't matter if you draw it, you know, proportionately to how it actually is. It, I, mine looks a little like an equilateral triangle. We don't know that, but I'm just going with what, you know, just any triangle is fine. All right. I also need to label the angles A, B, C, doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter how I choose to label them. Now let's start looking at the next phrase. Angles A and B have the same measure. What we usually want to do with that information is just randomly assign a variable to one of the angles. So for example, I could say, okay, suppose we call angle A X degrees. Then what is this telling me about angle B? How should I label angle B? Also X degrees because it has the same measure. So that's how I use that phrase. And then it says, while the measure of angle C is 15 degrees larger than the measure of each of angles A and B. So they're telling you how to name angle C. How should I do that? Good, 15 degrees larger than X would be X plus 15 degrees. And then from there, the problem is the same. It's just that you had to set up the original problem, the, the uh, diagram, okay? So the next step would be to look at what kind of diagram you have. It's a diagram of a triangle. Is it showing me the interior angles or the exterior? It's focused on the interior. So what do we know about the relationship between the interior angles of a triangle? They add up to 180, that's right. So we're gonna use the same relationship we had before, angle A plus angle B plus angle C is 180 degrees. In this case, that means X plus X plus X plus 15 equals 180, okay? So if we combine like terms on the left, what are we gonna get? Plus 15, good, equals 180, excellent. And then what do we do? Very good. We wanna get that X by itself. I'm gonna subtract 15 from both sides to get three X equals 165. And then the last step is division. Divide by three. So we're going to get X equals, what is that, five, 55? Okay, and then we go back and we figure out what the measures of the three angles are. So we now know that A and B are both 55 degrees. And to find angle C, we're going to add 55 and 15 and get 70 degrees. Okay, how do you feel about that one? Not horrible? All right, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna do one more problem and then we'll be done for today. This is number nine here, which is what we're gonna do in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.